Hello, Morgan with MM Beauty coming back for um, Talk About It Tuesday, take two. Uh, I was on a little bit ago and I realized that it was a topic I'd already talked about. So, thought I'd jump on and talk about why um, you should not get waxed the same day you're getting a spray tan. So I had a client that was uh, coming in and she wanted to, or she was scheduled to get waxed the same day as her spray tan. And here is why that is not a great idea. And it kind of shame on, shame on her spray tanner for not telling her. I try to tell clients um, prior to coming in for a spray tan and mind you, I did not spray tan her. So um, you want to wait to get waxed, um, or excuse me, you want to wait to get spray tanned after you get waxed. Reason being, okay, we are, when you're waxing, we're usually using oils. We're creating a lot of trauma to the follicle. You might be red, you might be sticky. Um, and this goes for facial waxing as well as body waxing because most of the time, right, we're getting spray tans all over the body. And so if you're getting any type of body waxing and then you're getting a full body spray tan, Think about all the residue you're gonna have on your body, okay? You're gonna have oils, maybe from the um, skin prep or the uh, wax remover. You're gonna maybe have some wax residue left over. Um, you're gonna be really red, maybe blotchy. Your skin's gonna be really irritated. And not that the spray tan is gonna irritate the skin even more, because it shouldn't and it won't, but you want the skin to be, when you get a spray tan, you really want the skin to be fresh. You want it to be clean. You want it to be um, removed of any type of residue, oils, lotion, makeup, deodorant, so that spray tan solution can get onto the skin and really work with the skin and stay on there. If you have all that wax residue, oils, etc. it's gonna create a blockage from the spray tan. So you might get a blotchy tan, your tan might rinse off really fast, it may not stick to the skin, it can look discolored, it's not gonna look good. So especially if you're getting spray tan for a big event, like, oh, I don't know, a wedding, you wanna make sure you get waxed at least a week prior to your spray tan. Usually what I'll do is I'll maybe wax the bride on um, Monday, and then I will spray tan her on that Thursday or Friday if her wedding is on a Saturday. My tanning solution takes two days to get to the darkest, deepest level, so that's why I kind of like to do Thursday, Friday, and that also ensures that it's not coming off on her dress, there's no weirdness, weird residue, and if there is any type of unevenness or weirdness with the spray tan, we can fix it before her big day, right? So. Uh, and again, I'm not seeing this, I'm not waxing people for the first time ever uh, a week before their wedding. This is someone who's maybe come to me, they've been waxing, they've, you know, their, their skin and their body is prepped for it. Um, that is why I would do waxing the week of. Now, if they came to me and they're like, I've never been waxed before and I wanna get waxed for my wedding, I would definitely do a few services a few months before. So I'd probably start three months out for any type of waxing service before their wedding, but that's a whole nother video. So. If you are getting a spray tan of any kind for any event, you wanna do all of your waxing about at least three days before your spray tan. Um, I mean, heck, I've even waxed someone who's been coming to me regularly. I waxed her one day and spray tanned her the next day. Kinda inconvenient, she had to come back. I totally get it. But you wanna make sure the skin is fresh and free of any type of oils, lotion, deodorant, makeup, any type of barrier that can prevent you from getting a perfect flawless tan that's gonna last. So I hope that helped you prepare for a spray tan, um, not to get waxed the day, the same day of you're getting, you're getting a spray tan. Also, you wanna make sure you leave that spray tan on for about a week, uh, excuse me, a week overnight. Again, that's my solution to make sure it's, um, it stays on the skin and it gets evenly distributed and you know it settles in because most tanning solutions need to work with your skin's own DHA to get a great color, so you gotta leave it on, et cetera, et cetera. So just wait that, um, that time period after waxing to get your spray tan. I hope that helped. So three, at least three to five days um, before you get spray tanned after a wax, if that made any sense. 
All right, you guys. Again, this is Morgan, a licensed esthetician and makeup artist with MM Beauty, coming to you live for a Talk About It Tuesday. Have a great day, and I will see you all next week. Bye.